Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining. This is Brandy Oswald, the founder of Sauvage Wellness. And today you're joining me for a vinyasa yoga practice with a, co with a focus on core flow. So this will be a flowing yoga class that's more like a core flow, really working on strengthening and toning the abdominals as we move through our sequences. So we'll use a lot of traditional postures and we'll just build in flowing movements that really help to stabilize and focus on the core muscles of our body. As with every class, do absolutely whatever feels good in your body. So you can do what I'm leading through. You can take things out. You can add things in. You can lay down and take a nap. I don't care. As long as you feel good, you have fun. And when you leave this class, you be nice to other people. I think you've done a great job at yoga. Along the way, I'll offer up some modifications, but if anything's not working for you, take it down a notch, lay down and rest and meet us back up when something is feeling like it's in your wheelhouse for tonight. So for those folks who are with me in person, you can go ahead and hit play on your playlist. And we're going to start lying down on our mat on our back. So almost like Shavasana, we're going to start class in that position. I'm just going to mute you, Alicia, unless you can do it yourself. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. So we're going to lay down on our back, coming into that Shavasana position, and just resting for a moment. Filming this week of classes has been kind of funny because the recording, people will be watching at any point in time. And this point in time, we're about two days out from the announcement of the winner of the presidential election. So we're all just kind of exhausted. <laughs> so we're taking a moment to start our practice and just relax. To ground down, to find your breath. And just taking a moment to let the muscles, the bones, the skeleton melt into the floor. If you feel yourself engaging, just invite the muscles to soften. Feel the breath as it sweeps into the belly and the ribs and the chest, all the way up into the face, and the exhale to relax. Gently riding the wave of the breath. So often throughout our days, we're focused on movement. Whether it's in our minds or in our bodies, moving quickly through our days from one task to the next. And here we just take a moment to pause. And when you're ready for movement, consciously making the decision. Drawing one knee, and then the other in towards your belly. Wrapping arms around the shins, giving yourself a squeeze, moving in your own time. Rocking side to side. And then starting to find some circles, just massaging out that low back. And the circles come around in the other direction. 
Coming to stillness, we'll hold the right leg in, extend the left leg long, stretching in the hips here. And then exhale to switch, left knee in, right leg long, stretching in the hips. Taking that again, right knee in, left leg long. And then switch. This time, hold the left leg in, squeezing the belly, lift your head and shoulders just up off the mat. So now you're hovering the head and shoulders and you're hovering that right leg. From here, find that switch, right leg in, left leg long, hovering over the mat, and then switch again. Just starting to warm up that belly. And just switching as quickly or as slowly as you'd like. I like to move nice and slow, really feeling the tension, the strength in the belly. And feel the legs swim through the space just above the mat. Taking about five more in total, right side, left side. Two more. As you finish, draw both the knees in towards the chest, hug the chin, turn yourself into a tiny little ball. Take the hands underneath the thighs, kind of just under the knees. Going to start to rock and roll here. So your belly pulled in, point the toes, shins can be parallel to the floor. We're going to rock towards seated, lift it up, and then roll it back down. Rock towards seated, and then send it back down. Taking it up three more times, feel the belly engage. Option to get lighter on the hand, really make the belly work as you're rolling up and down. Two more. On this last one, you can take a big roll as you come up, cross the ankles, plant the hands, just lift a little in your hips and try to sweep your legs, walking them little tiptoe through your hands, stepping back to your tabletop. Hands and knees here, coming to cat cow, squeezing in your low belly, inhale, Start to drop the belly and the chest, lift the gaze, lift the hip. Exhale to round out, tuck the tailbone, tuck the chin, press shoulder blades to stop. Inhale again, coming through. Hips and chest, engage, rise. Exhale to round out. Two more with your own breath, inhale. And exhale. Last one, inhale. And exhale. Beautiful, inhale, neutral spine. From here, planting in the hand, finding that nice long spine. We're gonna inhale, extend the right leg back behind us. You can point or flex the toes. Pressing into the hands, lift a little bit taller through the shoulders. Transition weight to that right palm and the left knee. Come up to the left fingertips and maybe sweep the arm out in front. So we're in opposite arm, opposite leg. Feeling the belly squeeze in. Imagining a midline lying down the center of your mat and you're trying to draw the body in towards it. Nice, strong, deep breath. Beautiful. Often to add a flow here. Exhale, knee and elbow together as you empty the belly. Inhale when you extend back out. Exhale when you draw in, empty the belly, knee to elbow. Inhale when you extend. Three more. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Last one. Exhale. This time hold in. Keep your right knee in, place your left hand down. Send your right knee a little bit further forward, cross it over the left. If this works, feet splay out to the side and we sit back in, in cow facing pose, knees stacked. If this doesn't feel so great, you lift up the right knee, you plant the right foot, and you hug that right thigh in towards your chest, a little bit of a twist. If it works to stack the knees, you can hold here, cow facing, or you can add a little pull, getting into that right hip. Nice. Getting a little creative with our transition. Mm -hmm. 
Nice inhale, wherever you are, coming back to center, lifting up. We'll glide this forward back to the hand. We're gonna take that right leg, squeeze it forward, send it back, extend straight back nice and long, and then exhale to bring that knee down onto the mat. We'll switch for side two. We're gonna inhale, extend the left leg back behind us. Squeezing the belly in, pressing into the palms, lifting through the shoulder blades, and then extending out to that right arm. You want a little tuck here in your hips to keep that low back from pinching. Nice, strong, deep breath. Really extending out of the fingers, back of the toes, and then option to add in the flow. Exhale, knee and elbow come together, empty the belly. Inhale, extend. Exhale, empty that belly. Three more. Last one. Coming in, hold, round out. Keep the left knee hovered and in, right hand comes down. Left knee comes a little bit further forward to cross over the right. Option to display those feet and sit back. We'll let that left knee track up with you to come into a little bit of a twist as you stretch into that left hip. Put the knees on top of each other. It can be a seated posture, arms in front, or it can be a fold. Nice. Hmm. Next inhale, coming back to center or rising up. We're going to tip it forward back to the palms. You're going to sneak that left leg back around, extend it behind us nice and long. This time, exhale, left toes plant, left leg is long. We're going to press up, hover your right leg. Step it back to meet the left. You're at the top of a push-up near high plank. Holding here, squeeze the belly in. Press into the palms, lift the shoulder blades just a little bit up here, a little hollow. From here, lowering knees, then chest and chin, or coming down through chaturanga, elbows in the ribs. Inhale to lift, upward facing dog. Pressing the chest forward. And then exhale, lift the hips, downward facing dog. The goal here is to get your hips high and your spine long. Doesn't matter if your feet are flat on the floor or if your legs are straight. If it was a good day. Nice deep breath. Finding a hold here in Downward Dog, really waking up the backs of those legs. Fingers spread wide, toes spread wide, a nice strong foundation. Even here, your low belly pulling in and up, Uddiyana Bandha. Next, inhale, you can lift the heels a little bit higher, pull your belly in, hips lift, look to your thumbs and then step or float to your feet up to the hands. Exhale to fold. Inhale, extend halfway lift. Exhale to fold. We'll take that one more time. Inhale halfway. Exhale to fold. Inhale, keep your arms rounded all the way up. Reach up, look up. Exhale, hands come down to the side of the body. We'll take Samasin to heat. Moving into sun salute A, inhale, sweep the arms, lift the gaze. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step it back, your version of a vinyasa, play up dog, down dog. Here's the modification for anyone who needs it. Knees, elbows in, hips stay high, chest lowered. Inhale, halfway cobra. Exhale, tuck the toes. Lift the hips with the scoop there to untuck the tailbone as you find downward dog. Five nice deep breaths here. 
And you can give it a little bounce, hop the feet off the floor, wiggle the butt around. The whole point of yoga is to feel good in your body. So do what feels good in your body. Beautiful. Next deep breath, we'll inhale to the thumbs, step or float feet to hands. And exhale to fold. Inhale, sweep the arms, rise and up, reach up, look up. Exhale, hands, solace six feet. Round two, inhale, sweep the arms, lift the gaze. Exhale, forward, fold. Inhale, extend halfway. Exhale, step it back, lowering down through plank, up dog, and we'll meet and down dog. Uh, I feel like we need to go on a record with this class that we're recording on November 9th. And it was like 70 degrees in Vermont and it has been for several days. I wore shorts. It was amazing. Next big inhale, we'll look to the thumbs. Step or float, feet to hand. Exhale to fold. Inhale, sweep the arms, lift it up. And exhale, sound the sit to feet. Take it to center to the feet. We're going to inhale, bend the knees, sit the hips, lifting up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Option to step or maybe float into play. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, right foot steps between the hands, arms rise up, warrior one. Then an exhale, when you come down, frame your front foot, step back, optional vinyasa, we'll meet in downward dog. From downward dog, it's inhale, left side, warrior one. And exhale, back down. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, hold. Downward dog. Nice. Staying connected to that breath. Big, strong inhale. Full, complete exhale. Next, inhale, we'll bend the knees, look to the thumb, step or float, feet to hand. Exhale to fold. Inhale, bend the knees when you rise. Exhale, hands to the side, sound is to heat. Second round, inhale, bend your knees, lift it up, chair pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to plank. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, right foot when you're ready, warrior one. And exhale when you come back down. From downward dog, side two when you're ready, left foot. Exhale, when you find your way back down, we'll meet and hold downward facing dog. Nice deep breath. Beautiful. Next inhale, look to the thumb, step or float, feet to hands. Exhale to fold. 
Inhale, bend your knees, set the hips, rise up. We're gonna hold here, chair pose, Utkatasana. Hips go back, little tuck of the tailbone belly, pulling in and up, chest is broad, arms rise up. Option for hands to touch. Nice deep breaths here, fire up the belly, fire up the legs. Nine. With your next exhale, fold over the legs, forward fold. Inhale, extend halfway, lift. Open your feet if you like a little bit, hip distance or further, and then exhale, forward fold, we'll hold here. Any hand position that feels good. Traditionally, we're grabbing big toes with the first two fingers, peace fingers. If this is easy, there's a funny little forward fold called the Padangustasana. Padangustasana, no, Padahastasana, gorilla pose, where you're stepping on the palms of your hands. You can lift up your feet slightly, slide your hands underneath, whoops, and step on your palms, and then fold in. You can also sneak in by bending your knees if your hamstrings are tight. And then you're pressing your fingernails into the mat super, super tight. Beautiful. Next, inhale, gaze out towards the mat. Exhale, release the hands down to the floor. From here, we're going to step it back towards our plank on the inhale. And exhale, option to lower through chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, right foot steps forward between the hands. Left foot plant, we're gonna rise and hold, warrior one. Nice deep breath. You'll notice the cue for warrior one is often to square your hips to the front wall. And that all kinds of jacks up my back knee. So I leave my hips somewhere centered. I turn my ribs slightly towards the front and I hold there. Keeping those joints nice and safe and strong. Beautiful. Maybe sinking the hips a little bit deeper as you do instead of driving the knee forward, give your feet a little bit more space in between one another. On an inhale, open the arms, gaze over the right fingers, warrior two, Vira Bajrasana B. Take a deep breath. Beautiful. Inhale, reverse that warrior, lifting the right ribs up to the sky as you reach back through the right fingers. A side stretch versus the back bend. Inhale here, we'll straighten that front leg. You can heel toe to shorten your stance, drawing the right foot in a little. Back heel drop backward. Inhale, straighten the right leg. Exhale, come down triangle, Utita Trigonasana. Opening the ribs towards that side wall, left arm can extend to the sky. Then. For a side stretch here, I've been taking the top arm swinging it out in front of me and then extending out diagonally like extended side angle. On that top arm, really long stretching from that left hip all the way up through the ribs. We wanna add a little bit of core work here. You can squeeze your belly in, get light on the right hand, feel your oblique start to turn on those side abdominal muscles. Maybe extend the right arm out as well, both arms out towards the wall in front of you. Nice. Coming to one of my all-time favorite poses, I call it rock star because I don't know what it's called, but I love it. Inhale, swing this all the way up and back. Reach your front arm up and back. Oh, I think they call it reverse triangle. Rock star is more fun. Front leg can be nice and long. 
Beautiful. Exhale, wiggle your hands down, frame your front foot. We're gonna step back towards the top of a push up. If it works for you, you can step back and hover your right leg. So it's a three legged plank. Holding here, you can always drop your left knee down and hold three legged in that variation. And then from here, we're gonna take that right knee, drive it forward behind the right elbow. Send it back on an inhale. Exhale, drive it between the elbows. Send it back on an inhale. Exhale, cross it to the opposite elbow. Send it back on an inhale. Taking one more time around, it's an exhale when you come forward, right elbow. Inhale, extend. Exhale, center. Inhale, extend. Exhale, left. Inhale, extend. Tuck the toes, optional vinyasa, or sit it back, downward facing dog, or take it down, child's pose, your pick. Choose your own adventure. We've got about three breaths here in between sides. Hmm. And then when you're ready, coming forward with the left side for warrior one with the left foot forward. Again, your hips can be square if that feels good, or you could turn the ribs. Really just doing what feels best. Engage through your back leg. Equal weight in the feet, really pressing back into that right foot. And with an inhale, open the arms. Let the gaze come out over the left hand. Legs can stay exactly as they are. Hips can open towards the side wall. That feels good. I say side wall. We have different sense of direction when we're practicing in our own spaces. Hips can open in between your legs, I guess would be the term. Hips can do whatever you want them to do. Whatever feels good. Inhale, reverse. Left ribs rise as the left fingers extend back. Inhale, straighten the left leg, heel, toe in. Inhale here. Exhale, hips come behind us and we'll lower down triangle on the left side. Right ribs lift to the sky. Right arm extends high. Option for the side stretch here on that right side. Swing the right arm out in front like a pendulum and extend it out diagonally towards the wall in front of you. Long stretch from the right hip all the way up through that right arm. And then if you want to turn it into core work, engaging the obliques and side abdominals, extend the left arm out diagonally overhead. To release, we inhale, lift this whole thing up and back. Reverse that triangle, a little rock star here, stretch out that front body. The left side nice and long. And then exhale, the middle hand, swing your front foot, squaring the hips to step back. When you step back, option hover the left leg. You can always drop the right knee down. I mean, you do your three limb plank. And it's an exhale when your left knee comes forward to tap the left elbow. Inhale on that leg, extend back. Exhale for the knee between the elbows. Inhale that leg back. Exhale, left knee to right elbow. One more time around, following your own breath. Each exhale draws you forward. As you finish again, left toes come down, optional vinyasa. You can find downward dog to stretch it out. And then when you're ready, we're gonna all together drop the knees, lengthen the spine. 
Toes together, knees open, walk the arms along and we'll take time. Taking a moment to reconnect to your breath, nice and strong and steady. Inhale, walk the arms over to the right side, a little bit more side stretch here, really releasing those obliques. And then we'll inhale the center and exhale to the other side. And we'll inhale to come back to center, exhale here. We're going to inhale, draw forward, slide the knees in underneath the hips. From here, walk the arms out long, option to plant hands onto a block or something a little bit higher to raise them up. We're going to sneak the chest down to the floor, finding puppy pose, stretching into the shoulders here, into the chest. Really active through the arms. The hips are high, they stay stacked above the knees, an option for chin or forehead to the mat. Inhale, we'll rise it up. Slide the hands in underneath the shoulders. And from here, tuck the toes, lift your hips, stretching it out, downward facing dog. Beautiful. Inhale, take your right leg to the sky, three-legged dog. Exhale to bend your knee, open that hip up. And exhale as we come forward, square the hips, draw the right knee between the hands, place that foot down. You're gonna drop the back knee to the mat, toes can be tucked or untucked. We're gonna inhale, start to shift back, lengthen out the right leg. Half split, inhale, lengthen. And exhale, the fold. We're going to inhale, come back forward, stack the right knee above the right ankle, left hand stays down, we'll twist it. Inhale, just turn in with the ribs towards that right leg. Option one, you can take the right arm and press open on that right leg a little bit. Option two, you can spin around, extend the right arm behind you. Option three, if you love it, you can reach for that back foot, bending at the knee. Only wanna be with you.
Exhale and you release, right hand comes down inside that right foot. From here, we're gonna step back. You can keep your right hand down for a moment. We're gonna tuck those back toes, lift the heel. As we step the right foot back, option to slide it on top of the left and swing the right arm up for side plank. If this is not your best friend, you could come down to your left forearm. You could also keep your bottom knee down. To finish off, it's exhale when the right hand comes down to the mat. Spin the hips back to center, holding here. And exhale, we'll lift it up and back, downward dog. And then inhale, left leg extends to the sky, three-legged dog. Exhale when you bend the knee to open the hip. Nice. Your back muscles look jacked. So strong. <laughs> Exhale when you square the hips, come back through. Left knee or left foot between the hands. We drop the right knee down. Inhale, extend back, lengthen the left leg. And exhale, tuck the chin to fold. If you're watching at home, you'll notice what I don't do is sit way back onto that right heel. That takes a lot of the stretch away. We want to keep your right hip above the right knee stacked as you lengthen the left leg. And then when you're ready, inhale, we'll come forward. And from here, finding a little twist, right hand comes down, rotating the ribs towards that left leg. You can hold here, maybe a little press on the upper thigh. If it feels good, you can keep twisting, sending the left arm back behind you. And maybe even bending the back knee to reach for that back foot. My hips are pretending like we've never done this before. I know that's not true. Whew. When you're ready to release, we'll come back around, hands inside the left foot. From here, we tuck the back toes to lift that heel up. As we start to take the left leg back, we we're gonna stack it on top of the right and twist it open into your side plank on the other side. Really lifting up with the hips, as you do, feeling your lower obliques, those right side abs really start to engage. Exhale, when you come back through, last vinyasa option here, lowering down. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Beautiful. Stretching out in downward dog as long as you'd like. From here, we're going to come all the way down onto the mat. We'll stay there. So when you're ready, bend the knees, step or float the feet through the hands. Coming into seated, legs come out in front. Scooping the hips, getting the tailbone or the sit bones towards the mat. We're gonna inhale, extend out the arms. Exhale, we're gonna roll this back nice and slow. Once your low back hits the mat, leave the head and chest lifted, draw the knees in, similar to where we started today. From here, let your legs come out so your knees stack right over your hips. Your shins are parallel to the floor. Arms come up overhead. Not the most comfortable shape, I understand. Belly pulling in. Modified boat variations. From here, we're gonna roll up towards boat pose, but with the knees bent, arms extend. And then slowly take it back down to that starting shape. Head and shoulders stay lifted. Exhale, swing it up. Inhale, send it down. It's really controlled motion. The belly is helping to lift you up as you rock 
on the sacrum. We'll take two more. Last one, we'll come up. Option to hold if you're holding chest lifts. Thighs and ribs are close together. Holding here. Two more breaths. Exhale and you come down. Let the whole back come onto the mat, hug the knees to the chest, nice big squeeze. Rolling here in circles, massage out that low back, really relieve. And then from here, we'll bring the soles of the feet down to the mat, taking a bridge pose, stretching those hip flexors, the quad. Point, fingers point towards the heels. You can even grab on a little bit. Shoulders roll underneath. Squeezing the legs in towards one another. You can even place a block in between them. From here, we're going to start to roll the hips up off the mat. Pressing them up to the sky, really pressing into the feet. Rather than letting your knees sway open, really keep them squeezing in. Try to keep the knees just in line with the hips. Pressing into the palms. Nice. Feeling the glutes start to engage. Exhale, we're going to release, and just before your hips touch the mat, we'll roll them back up again. Building a little heat, a little strength in the quads and in those glutes. Again, we'll start to come down, and just before the hips touch the mat, slide it back up. This time coming all the way down to the mat, releasing those hips. And you could windshield wipe for those knees side to side. If you love full wheel, that full back bend, you're welcome to plant the hands by the ears. Keeping the feet on the mat, starting to lift everything but hands and feet up. Getting a back bend here. Don't worry if it's not pretty, neither is mine. <laughs> And after you've taken your back bend, let those knees come back into your chest, release the low back again. This time coming for happy baby, grabbing outer edges of your feet, knees open nice and wide, drawing the thighs down towards the mat. Drawing the knees back together. We're going to hold that right knee and left leg comes long and it can come all the way out to the mat. From here, right leg lifts and extends to the sky. Finding a little stretch, coming a little deeper into the back of that right leg. You can hold here with the hands on the back of the thigh, or you could walk up towards the calf. If it feels good, peace fingers, first two fingers wrap around that big toe. Left hand releases to the left quad. And you try to work that right thigh towards your chest. If you want one more core strengthening element, you can squeeze the belly in and lift the head and chest up towards that right leg. I believe that's what it's called. The head is lifted, inhale down. Exhale, we release that right leg to the mat. Inhale, draw the left leg in. Starting with the bent knee, then hands behind the thigh, starting to lift the left leg straight up. Holding here, walking the hands towards the calf. 
If it's working, peace fingers around the big toe. Right hand can release to the top of that right quad. And then if you want that core element, you can inhale, lift the head and chest. And inhale when the head comes down. Exhale. This time we're going to bring both the knees in towards our belly. First, you find twist. Two more poses here before Shavasana. We'll take the knees over to the right side. Arms can open like a T or bend at the elbow. I like to use my right hand to pull up, press down on the top of those thighs. Knees move in one direction. The left ribs, the left shoulder moving to the other. And then gently when you're ready, knees to center and exhale to the other side. We'll inhale to come back to center last time. Exhale, gently letting the feet come down to the mat and extending the legs out nice and long. One more stretch on the belly here, really releasing that strengthening work we've done, those contractions. You're gonna point through the toes, extend the arms overhead, really reaching fingertips to toes, stretching the body in opposite direction. Finding nice length here, big inhale. And then exhale, let it soften. One more time, inhale, stretch through the fingers, out through the toes. And then exhale, let it soften. Taking any final postures or movements you'd like. And eventually finding your way into Shavasana, your final resting pose. Traditionally for Shavasana, we're lying flat on our back, palms face up at the sides of the body. Feet gently rolling open. The low back pressing into the mat. Shoulder blades rolling down the back side of the body. Chin lightly tucked. Tongue to the roof of the Thank you. 
When you're ready, you can choose to close your practice right where you are in Shamasana. Or as you'd like, bringing movement back into the body, wiggling your fingers and your toes, circling your wrists and your ankles, and inviting any movement into the body that you would like. Eventually, over time, perhaps coming back to a seated position. As we find seated, option to draw the hands together in front of the heart like a prayer. We call this Anjali Mudra. If you'd like taking a moment to recognize how you feel, mind, body, and spirit, perhaps setting an intention as you close your practice and move out into the rest of your day, or simply enjoying one more moment of stillness, groundedness in the sacred space. Let me close our practice here. Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. And it means peace, peace, peace. Thank you so much for practicing. Namaste. Awesome. Thanks, everyone. You can find all the yoga classes, meditations up on YouTube under the Sauvage Wellness 
YouTube channel and all the details of scheduled classes that are live on Zoom at sauvagewellness.com slash yoga. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm going to stop the recording and...